What's going on guys? Chase, ChaseWins.com coming to you for Monday, the 28th of October, early morning. Um, as most of you know, I said on video the other day, I was going to be traveling this morning, headed to the airport now, have a flight, leaving at 9.26 a.m., headed to St. Louis. Only going to be there for today. I have a meeting at 4 o'clock uh, Central Time. Probably lasts about an hour, hour and a half, just signing some paperwork, closing a little deal I've been working on for the last eight, nine months. So that'll be good. Um, and then after that, I'll be right back to the airport to uh, to fly back home. So I'll be home late tonight, probably about midnight my time or so. Uh, two hour flight. So I'm supposed to land um, just before noon. You know, I'll probably get off the plane about then. So I probably won't have time to actually upload this video uh, until I get off the plane, but I'm gonna have about a four hour window before that meeting. So I'm just gonna go into the Amex lounge, pull out my computer, finish the rest of my studying and breakdowns, get the games posted, and then fire through as many emails as I can. So if you've sent me an email and you've got an auto reply or anything, just bear with me. Obviously there's not much I can do while I'm traveling. Um, you don't have to be like some people and if you don't get a response within 10 minutes, you decide to send 15 more emails when you just realize you're wasting your own time. It's not gonna make me respond to you any faster um, with any more urgency or in any different way other than really royally annoying me. Um, it's immature. Um, I'm not gonna state any names because I actually like the person. Um, it's just, it's really immature how some people do. Um, you're not the only person that I deal with. Um, there's hundreds of you and I try to treat everyone with the same amount of attention and respect. So you also, but you have to understand that I am one person. So just bear with me, I will get to you. Uh, special for today that we're gonna run, uh, don't really have anything spectacular. Uh, seven day pass, if you buy it today, you're gonna get the eighth day free. So you'll get uh, today's plays all the way through next Monday for 99 bucks. So figure that's a nice little way to kick off the week in the last week of October and the last week without college basketball. So, uh, and being that I'm traveling today, I'm also gonna be traveling um, on Wednesday. It will be another day trip, but it, it will involve flying. So I will not be able to do the normal Wednesday live show, but I will do one tomorrow in place of it. We're gonna do a normal live show tomorrow, and then on Thursday, we're going to do the true finance and business talk like we did this past Friday, and people fucking loved it. They loved it. I have gotten so much feedback. People want to see it again and again. Um, that was actually the basis of the podcast that's being released at the beginning of the month. So we're going to do it on video. And it will also be in pure audio form come the beginning of November every week. We're going to try to do it twice a week every week. Uh, for this week, you know, obviously just some things are going on. So kind of have to make do and shift some things around. So it's pretty much it for the Monday spiel. Uh, top play yesterday in the NFL. It was a bust. The Bears, I don't know what to say. I, you can't blame it on Mitchell Trubisky. You can blame it on the kicker. You also have to place Matt, you know, Matt Nagy in some blame. Um, I'd make that play over and over again with the information that's there. The Bears are the better team. The Bears played the better game for the majority of it. And the Bears had the game by 10 points going into the latter part of it. They gave up a touchdown they shouldn't. There were two field goals that should have been easy chip shots that were missed. There were poorly, poorly timed calls by the coaching staff. So many things just rolled into not just a defeat on the spread, but the Bears outright losing the game. I'm not out there coaching or playing, so there's nothing I can do to prevent it. So that sucks. If you did buy that play, you will be extended seven days. That extension is already set to happen at about two o'clock Eastern time. So if you've already emailed me, don't email me again. If you haven't emailed me, you don't have to email me. It will happen automatically. That I can assure you. Um, but on the bright side, it's not just about games won and games lost. It's about turning profit. So let's say you played that game yesterday and you lost it. I but might as well just flush $5,500 down the fucking shitter yesterday for it because I lost it. Um, but let's get into the premium plays. New England, winner. Colts, under, which I gave you for free on the live video on Friday, winner. The Rams, winner. The Giants, underdog, winner. They didn't win outright, but they covered the spread. Jets free play was not a winner. 
threw up a free play on the YouTube community and Twitter yesterday. That was not a premium, but it was a, you know, fun money play nonetheless on the Patriots under. Um, that was a winner, and obviously I think I've already said the Patriots, they absolutely scorched the Browns, which we thought they would. Um, and then we get into the NBA, have one play, over 216 Lakers Hornets, winner. So another sweep day in the NBA. We did drop the Panthers play, got a hand to the 49ers. I still think they're a little bit smoke and mirrors. I don't think they're as good as their undefeated record, but I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for them, in, you know, to a certain extent to have success. I don't want to see them lose. Um, I, I just think that they're going to be overhyped, overvalued, and I think it's going to be time to uh, look to make money against them in the upcoming weeks, just like I think that uh, the Bears are going to be fade material for the public. The books are going to start, you know, looking at what's happened over the past few weeks they're not going to give them credit when they need to so there's going to be a lot of opportunity to make money by taking the bears in situations where the entire world is in fade mode so just keep that in the back of your mind in the coming weeks um yeah i mean but otherwise premiums did well um what a great day in the nfl that top play killed us but we talk about the NBA bringing us back. We have one premium NHL play, Chicago Blackhawks, very low money line, easy blowout winner. Then we had two NHL top plays, St. Louis Blues and Boston Bruins, both winners. That puts us at 13 and two on the year for NHL top plays. Easy, 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 best in the business. We're hitting over 90% in top plays for the NHL. Guys, where are you gonna get that at? Where are you gonna get that? Uh, premium plays, we're over 76%, right at 77% with another 3-0 and sweep in the NHL. Uh, basketball's rolling right along. We don't have college yet, but that's what I'm waiting on. But, you know, what are we at? The last five plays, won all five of them in the NBA, most of them being totals plays. Um, we killed totals last year. We're going to do it all year again. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we had the MLB. Early uh, early action, we put out a premium play on the Houston Astros. About 15 minutes before any media released the fact that Max Scherzer wasn't going to pitch, I got a phone call regarding that, saying Max isn't going to pitch, spasms are getting to him, and I had to take a leap of faith from my source that gave me the information, and I immediately went on the website, upgraded the play, sent out a mass email to over 300 people saying for all of you that are on the MLB, you need to take the MLB play you were given. It is now a huge top play, like bigger than any top play that we've had. It is a huge top play. If you've already bet it, bet it again, hammered. If you haven't bet it, you need to treat it as an enormous top play. And then about my 10 best customers who I talk to on the phone every week, I called them one by one. There was only two of them that didn't get to play the money line before it moved. Uh, but I told them to hammer the run line, which they did. So three top play winners yesterday to offset and turn big profit even when we lost the big NFL game. So another day of profit, guys. It's not about just wins and losses. It's about turning profit day in and day out. And that's what we do and we're the best in the business at. So jump on that seven-day pass. Get the eighth day for free. And that's really it. Jump on the NHL, guys. If you don't, you, you just hate money. You hate money. I mean, I can say the same about MLB because everybody knows I'm the best MLB capper out there. It's not to brag. It's just a fact. The numbers prove it. Um, I can say the same about basketball. But there's nothing and no one doing what I'm doing in NHL right now. And you know what? People tell me this capper's doing this. Good for them. I'm glad they're doing good. And if they're making you money, great. I'm happy. Don't change a thing. But if you're not with an NHL capper right now and you're thinking about it, how can you justify going with anyone else with what you're seeing day in and day out here? Jump on it, guys. Jump on it. Let's get on a free play. Like I said, this video probably won't go up till closer to 1 o'clock. All emails will be answered at that time. Miami Dolphins, Pittsburgh Steelers, total 42 and a half. Miami catching 14 and a half. It's a very low total. Very low total when you have a team laying over two touchdowns. What usually happens in that situation? Either the total goes way over or the total stays under and it's an easy cover for the underdog. A lot of times, both. Pittsburgh's not a good enough team to prevent Miami from scoring tonight. They're just not. Miami's not a good enough team to prevent anyone from scoring. So what's Pittsburgh gonna do? They're gonna put up points and I think they're gonna put up points, a good many of them. And 
So I think that it's an easy call to say that Pittsburgh is going to do their spot. And I think that it's a fairly easy call to truthfully say that Miami's going to get into the end zone twice and probably get a handful of field goal opportunities that they will they maybe make. It would not surprise me to see Miami put up three touchdowns in this game. Wouldn't surprise me. Do I think they'll do it? No, not necessarily. But when you talk about a total of 42 and a half and this thing staying under, what does it take for Miami to cover? Not much. Not at 14 and a half. So your official free play, I'm going to take Miami plus 14 and a half because on the few times where they do get success out of offensive drives, it's because of weakened defensive positioning on the opposing team and that thing they strive for and they sometimes have success at is the weak spots of where Pittsburgh lies so I think we're going to see I don't think we're going to see a shootout but I think we're going to see a team that's going to go out there and fight make it interesting for at least a portion of the time I'm going to take those 14 and a half points I'm going to roll with Miami and I'm also going to take I'm not going to tell you which game I like more you'll have to be on the premium plays to see that because one of these is a premium play that will be on the card but you can take both of them as a strong lean over 42 and a half, as well as Miami plus 14 and a half. Take both of those, do what you will. If you want to know the premium play and which one to make a half wager on, jump on the week package. Or if you are already on the my packages or whatever, and you know you're going to get the play, just hang tight until I release the plays and then bet accordingly. I love you guys, even the haters, even the ones that Oh, I won't even get into it. I love all of you guys and all the support you've shown me in making this possible every day. Can't thank you enough. Can't tell you what it truly means to me. We'll be back tomorrow with some podcast action and a live show. Can't wait. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, give me a call, text me, whatever. And um, I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow.